Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Trans Road USA. So in our last video we took a little breather from a lot of uh, action that we've had over the last few videos uh, entailing swapping a lot of trailers around, doing uh, some uh, acquisitions and takeovers. So we needed to take a breather and just sort of re replenish our bank account a little bit. Now we're back up to 5.3 million and I'm ready to press our luck again. I'm ready to get back to uh, some acquisitions. And really, this would be our last acquisition outside of the career mode. Because we've already seen before that Gordon Fox Trucking, uh, we cannot take over except as part of the career mode. And I believe it's Trucker Express that we cannot also take over as except during the uh, career mode progression. So... I want to go ahead and try to take over Seagulls. You can see they have their headquarters down here in Oklahoma City. That would essentially have us dominating the entire eastern portion of the country for all intents and purposes. So, because we would have a huge presence over here, and there's only two companies left uh, to do business against us in the general area. Uh, and we can see that uh, Gordon Fox is over here in Salt Lake City, at least I believe that's him. Yeah, that's him uh, over here in Salt Lake. So he's probably doing a lot of business over here in the West, and we're currently dominating the East. So I like where we're at, but I want to go ahead and complete this. Let's go ahead and see, that is, if we can do it. So Trucker Express is the one. Yeah, we can't do that. So Seagulls, we're showing on the ratings list, Seagulls is at 2.7. And let's go ahead and send that letter over. And it's saying 2.3 here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on with basically what I've been doing the whole time, which is I'm going to offer them 3.3 million. That should be enough. We'll see how it goes. If it's not enough, then it's just not enough. But let's take a quick look at what they do have. All right, they've got some trailers here. Uh, the tanks that we don't have, that, so we'll have to get rid of those. But other than that, they really only have a couple of trailers that are useful for us. But of course, we're not doing this because we really want to have access to the equipment that they have. That's not really the point for us. Um, what we're doing this for is we're doing it to have fun. That's really what all of this comes down to. So 2.3 is what it's showing. Let's go ahead and put in 3.3 million. Oh, what just happened? Everything just went blank. Oh, there it is. It's back. Wow. Okay, that was odd. Okay, let's try this again. So 3.3 million and send the offer. Unfortunately, it was a little bit too low to have to climb. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we'll come back to that then. So 3.3 million seems pretty good uh, as far as an offer, but they said it was a little low. So it wasn't like we were insulting their intelligence like we've seen before. Uh, but we'll come back to that one a little bit later. So for now, uh, one of the things that I've been wanting to do is is move toward the more uh, profitable trailers as we move along. Unfortunately, the game is going to put sort of a, a hard stop on this because we don't have that much room. I mean, we're only at 42 trucks and trailers right now, which seems extremely small to me. Uh, and just to give you an idea of why I think that, we can only have six trucks in any location or based out of any location, which seems really odd to me because I live not far, probably five minutes from multiple trucking companies in the area. And these are not humongous trucking companies. And I can walk by and the other day I counted like 12 trucks and trailers just sitting around plus some additional trailers that were stored in the back. So, it just seems odd to me that the biggest we can get this is for six. Now, I'm assuming that that is done for programming reasons, meaning that at some point you reach so many trucks roaming around on the screen that, uh, and in the game in, at large, that the game just starts to really bog down and you can't get the good frames per second that you need for a smooth gameplay. So I'm assuming that's what it is. But still, it just seems odd that six is all we can have and then we cannot have any additional trailers sitting around. Because again, this is what I drive by on a regular basis uh, around the area where I live. And I see trucking companies that are not huge by any stretch of the imagination. 
but but yet I see you know very small numbers here uh, in the game. So we're going to go with that as best we can. Um, and the reason I bring that up is because obviously if we go back into the HQ and go to the concessions tab, I mean we've got three more of these to buy at some point, and I would assume that the career mode is going to take us through all three of these before we get to the end. So what are we going to do with all these? I mean, how are we going to have enough trucks to run these trailers of any appreciable amount? So at some point, we're going to have to work our way through that progression, which is what I want to start doing now. Let's go ahead and let's come into these. Now, this is a six truck deal, which is making good money. So I don't want to get rid of this entirely, but I sort of want to set it off to the side and and give enough trucks to deal with this but not as many as we have right now i mean we don't need 14 trucks on this never did um this was sort of a, a holding area for all these trucks for me until i decided what i wanted to do with them and i'm ready to get rid of them so we're going to get rid of the first four just automatically right off the top we're going to get rid of uh, enough to bring us down to 10. so let's go ahead and do that and let's see, we should be way ahead. Oh, we just, it just restarted. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, okay, why can't we scroll? Come on, scroll. All right, where are these guys? Most of these guys are probably on the road. And so we're going Des Moines to Charlotte. So these guys looks like they're probably, okay, they're just leaving. All right, who is this? All right, that is... Kiko, where is she at in the list? Is that you? Yes. All right, so she's headed back. So what we want to do is actually have her, if I can scroll in a little bit here. All right, we want to have her uh, go to there. So we're going to have her go and park. Uh, who is next that we see up here? So that's Han or... Uh, where are you in the list? Come on, maybe. I cannot get this thing to scroll. I must have clicked on somebody off. Oh, never mind. He's in the wrong. All right, I was trying to get some folks that are nearby. Uh, but apparently, I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, oh, Billy. There we go. Uh, Billy is one of them. So, yeah, let's go ahead and send Billy. We know exactly where he is in the list. We've seen, we've seen Billy way too many times to forget what he looks like. All right, so that'll give us two there. And who else is in the area? All right, who is that? Quincy, where are you? Is this you? Yes. So we want Quincy. We're going to take you. So again, I'm trying to find folks that are as close um, as we can get to dropping off uh, their load in Charlotte. And then, so let's see who this is. This is Kenny. Where are you at in the list, Kenny? Again, no scroll. Is this you, Kenny? Yes, it is. All right, so Kenny, we're going to have you drop in here. That'll give us three, I believe. Four. That'll give us four. Okay. And that'll be good to start. We'll start off with that. Let's get things moving here. So we're going to keep an eye on when these guys go ahead and come in. Now, you notice one thing I did not do. I did not look at the drivers to see who had the licenses and all that. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, we'll swap out drivers if we need to. That's actually perfectly fine with me. All right, now there she is done. That's the first. And, oh, I don't want you guys. Why are you guys out of it? Oh, you finally got done with this 50-trip deal All right, in Memphis. Now, we've already learned multiple times that Memphis does not have any jobs available for this particular trailer type. So we're not going to waste time about that. Let's see. He is actually going to stay in Memphis. Uh, what do we have in Indy for this type of trailer? Uh, okay, well, that, that'll do it. Okay, so not much there. What about St. Louis? 
All right, St. Louis has some good stuff. Uh, what we really need to get, however, is what about Chicago? No, Chicago doesn't doesn't like it. KC, anybody? What about Charlotte? What about if we get over here? There we go. We really need to get into some logging because that's one of the things that the career mode wants us to do. All right, so it looks like we need to get over into Charlotte. And we're not going to worry too, as much about you know how much they're paying. Uh, I will just assume at this point that they're going to be paying a nice amount. Uh, and we'll take it from there. All right, so we want this guy to go over to Charlotte. That'll give us five people total in Charlotte as they all arrive. Okay, Memphis, let's move you over to Charlotte. And that's six. So I need these guys to hurry up is what I really need to have happen. Okay, so there's... Four, five, and Billy joins the group. All right, so what do you have? All right, you, Carl, we don't, Kenny wants a raise, and he's actually going to be one of our ones we're going to turn over because I'm going to go, yeah, let's go ahead and refuse that. I'll stay anyway. I really need a job. Consider, <laughs> okay. Okay, so our first denial there. All right, so we know we're going to be okay because Kenny has all the licenses. He can drive anything. Uh, we'll have to see about the other drivers, how this thing goes. All right, and now we have finally our sixth person that is, is on their way. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead into the depot. And let's just take a look. Okay, so you don't have any particular licenses. Uh, let's see, you do, so that's going to be perfect. You have the license I'm looking for. That is awesome, and of course, Kenny has all of them. Okay, so far so good. Let's go ahead and pick up one driver, and again, the cost for the driver really isn't a huge deal for us because, I mean, we're making tons of money, and I'm not going to micromanage this thing. All right, there we go, flatbed right on there, and the dump trailer for that matter, so that is plenty good for me. That works for what I'm looking for. All right, so now we've got that taken care of. Let's pull back up our list and let's see. So now we've got everybody back uh, that we actually need to have back. These two guys, we'll get started working with them on a new schedule here uh, shortly. So let's go back to the depot. All right, so Jim, we're going to put you in... I mean, it really doesn't matter, but we're going to put you in, uh, oh, which, never mind, never mind. That is a uh, different truck. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start selling some things out. And let's see, who else? So we're going to have to bring you out. We're going to have to pick up at least one more driver, but let's start with the process of selling trucks. Okay, let's go ahead and sell this one trailer is gone and these two guys we don't want to sell sell that trailer and the truck is gone as well Billy you've actually had this one for I don't think we've ever swapped out Billy's truck uh, we could have but I don't think we ever did but let's go ahead and get rid of that and of course Sell the trailer, and the same thing down here. So a nice liquidation sale is underway. So we've got room for now four trucks. Let's go shopping. All right, these guys are in Charlotte. So let's start down here in Savannah and see what we can get. I mean, I was really hoping to do that last takeover in today's video, but... Look at that. All of the two axle trucks. Wow. And then a four axle. So how about that? Uh, what do you have in used trucks? Try to stay away from these for the most part, but and they don't have anything for us anyway. All right. So I guess the next thing would be we'll go up here to Detroit. It's going to be a long drive to deliver these trucks from Detroit. All right, here we go. At this point, I don't even care about the price. I just want to see if we can find four three-axle trucks. Okay, because, of course, 
it's new. So we have 70,000 miles in between maintenance. I like that, 3,000 per week. Uh, we've seen a lot, 6,000 per week maintenance on uh, these three axle trucks. But of course, the upfront price changes as well. We want to go to, uh, I do want it to go to Charlotte. Even though it doesn't necessarily have to, the drivers can be assigned from anywhere. But we're going to be looking for some new jobs and setting up a new schedule in Charlotte. So I do want it to go there. All right, let's confirm the purchase there. And while we're at it, let's go get the trailer. Come on. There we go. All right, so we're good there. Let's change that to Charlotte. Okay, so one down. Now we need, let's see, so we sold that one. Got another one. Okay, still not bad. What about one more? Nope. So we're just going to have two at this place, so that's okay. We'll take that. Go to Charlotte. And one more flatbed trailer to Charlotte. Confirm that. Okay, now we can exit out because we already know that those are the only two that we have uh, there. Let's take a look in New York City. Just see what they have. All right, 3,000 per week, 125,000, 43A. I mean, it's not the end of the world that it's not 70,000. Ooh, 10,000. Yikes. Okay, just wanted to get a glimpse into what some of these. 43A is not bad. Uh, but I really want to go with the new ones. That's just something I really want to do. All right, where is another new dealership? So I guess we're going to have to go up here to Indy. Let's see if they have anything. Oh, wow. So they have nothing at all for three more days. Okay, so I guess that helps out make that decision. Uh, so we'll go back to New York. And let's get this ball rolling. So 43.8, not the greatest thing in the world, but we're going to go with it. So three axle, we want you to go to Charlotte. Confirm that. All right, the flatbed, yes, please. Take that to Charlotte and confirm. Now, do you have any more? You do indeed, basically the same thing. All right, we'll take it. What about any more? Nope, we'll get up into the four axles then. All right, we'll take that. And this will be our last one that we'll need to purchase for at least a little while. Okay, so now we should have Yes, we've got everything that is on the way, so we're going to go ahead and let those head down. Okay, this guy's going to have to stay in Memphis, unfortunately, because we're full up in Charlotte, or at least we will be shortly, and these guys are just going to stay in Memphis. That is perfectly fine right now, because we're going to reset this whole thing. Okay, monthly uh, finances, we're back to that. Everything's looking perfectly fine. Okay, how many more are we waiting on? We're still waiting on three. And yes, I know, we're getting more and more guys that are idle. That is perfectly fine. We're still waiting on two. And by the way, I thought I turned off in the options where it would pause the game every time, there we go, every time that we had a new uh, idle driver, but apparently it has turned itself back on. Okay, so we got some more stuff to deal with rather than, uh, than this flatbed trailer that we've been working with. In fact, how many more of those two more trucks to go before we're done there? All right, let's pause this, and we need to go into the depot, and we're going to need to get some drivers and all sorts of stuff. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put Billy in one. Doesn't matter which one to me. And let's see. Kiko, you're good to go. And you are not. So Kenny is not. Quincy is not. So we need one more driver right now. So that means headquarters. Maybe. 
There we go. We're in. Uh, where are we? Drivers. Boy, this is taking forever. It's kind of scary when the game uh, pauses like that. Okay, so we've got 8, 10, and 74. Let's see what else we've got. Eight, ten, and seventy-four. Well, I'm not seeing a whole lot here. So, looks like we're going with eight, ten, and seventy-four. We hire that driver. Come on. Yeah, it always worries me a little bit whenever the game just really pauses that much. So, Destiny, glad to have you on board. And now we are all set. Let's go ahead and get back into. So we got six drivers here. How many do we have in the area? Okay, so we got five more here in Memphis and then one in Indy. So I'm going to be looking to see what we have from Charlotte. Wait a minute, what is this special contract? So we got, oh, cattle. Yeah, we don't have the ability for that. We can handle the other couple, but, but not that one, so we'll decline that one. All right, so Charlotte. Let's go ahead and pull this up on Schedule 2. So we've got Charlotte. What are we getting here? This That's a nice per trip number, 10,000. What do we have? 3,100. That is not enough to entice me. Uh, this might be, though. <laughs> so, wow. 7,800 per trip, 110,000 completion bonus. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, the only bad part is we're not going to have any return trips from Memphis, Let's see what else is available. Um, I like, well, quite frankly, I like a lot of these. So 15 trips. Okay, I mean, the 4,000 per trip is not bad. Of course, it's for 16 trucks, so that's no good for us. But look at these. Some of these numbers are huge. And I mean huge. 62,000 completion bonus, 17,000 per trip. Um, yes, we're going to do this. We're absolutely going to do this one. I just got to see, we've got six trucks in the area. How can I split this out? All right, we're going to do, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this one. So we're going over to Memphis, and I need four trucks on that one. Okay, let's go ahead and complete that one, because I want to make sure that we don't overextend ourselves. So four trucks. two, three, and four. So that gives us two remaining in Charlotte. And then, let's see, this guy, I want you to come over to Charlotte as well. And then we got Memphis. That's going to give us three. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, just stay there for a moment. All right, let's get back out of that and get back into... The Charlotte deal, again, some of these are quite nice. I like this a lot, and they should help us uh, to complete the career quest because we're dealing with um, we're dealing with transporting the trees or the lumber rather. Let's see, look at some of this, man. This is huge. This is huge, and I love it. Right now, I mean, seeing numbers like this, this is what makes me want to say, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of all the other trailers and just go with this. Um, but of course, we don't want to do that. For economic reasons, we don't want to do that. I like this number a lot, 8,800. Uh, man, there's all of these look good except for the recurring deals. That is, okay. So let's come back up here. 50 trips is going to be hard for me to get rid of. But we got five trucks that we need to put on this thing. 8,800 per. Yes, please. So let's go ahead and take this. So now I just have to figure out my five trucks. So we know that we're going to have one. Of course, he's on his way. Two and three. We know we've got that. Of course, both of these are going to Memphis to the same place, actually. And then we're going to have four, five, and... Let's see. Let's go ahead and put. 
let's go ahead and put five there. That'll make it easy with two trips a piece. Uh, and then the rest we're going to put on, on this one. So we're going to have, and then as these other guys get done with this one, I will probably just put them uh, on this one as well. Then we'll look for, well, not really a backhaul, but we'll try to figure out something for these guys. All right, now we need to deal with Schedule 1 because we are finishing up here in Memphis. So we need to see what's coming out of Memphis. And it needs to be some good stuff because I'm fighting the urge to get rid of all of these trucks or all these trailers. And I mean, okay, that's not, that's not bad, I suppose. It's 50 trips, which I like automatically, but it's not really doing anything to make me think, you know what, I really want to make sure I keep these these trailers. All right, we're just not getting it right now. Uh, 15 trips, 102, that's not bad. But, you know, we've got to be careful of how many. we got five trucks still on their way uh, to Memphis. So we've got that going for us. And it looks like, let's see, it looks like we've got two there right at Memphis and one on its way. Who knows, we might have some others in and around. There's one. Okay, so we got a couple that are missing. 50 trips. Okay, that's not bad. 3,500 per. I might just take that because I like the 50 trips aspect of it. Okay, yep, yeah, let's just go with that. That'll keep them busy for a while. And we're going Memphis to Indy, which is not a long trip at all. Okay, and it's only a two-truck deal. That's really good because it means we can get done ahead of time, way ahead of their schedule. So we're going to bring all these guys in here. They're headed to the wrong place. And then we got one in Memphis. And then, of course, as these guys get done, they will jump on board here as well. So now we have nobody idle, and we're getting everybody started. All of these trailers, you can see all of these guys are headed over here to Charlotte. Now we have, of course, we have 11 trucks over here on an eight-trip uh, recurring schedule. That's a little bit too many. So what I want to do is look for uh, some return trips there. So we're going to Cheyenne and it looks like we've got, what are we headed to Cheyenne? Yes, we're headed to Cheyenne. So let's see what we've got. Make sure we get our correct trailer. And boy, $109 per trip. That just, and it's for 16 trucks. So wow. Talking about tying up your, uh, your resources. All right, so we needed to go back to Savannah. Um, something tells me we're probably not going to get that. And if we don't, then we don't. But that's not going to be the end of the world. Really not seeing a whole lot that excites me. That, that's not bad. Uh, but let's see. If we do the St. Louis deal, is that going to put us out as far as our travel? No, I think it might actually shorten the trip a little bit. Uh, okay, so that's not bad. We'll take that one. So let's go ahead and get that one going. And so now as these guys get there, remember it's only a two truck deal, so we got time for these guys to get there and and take this load back. Okay, so we need these guys will be going back to Savannah after they drop off in St. Louis, and I think that's gonna work. But as always, We'll find out soon enough. Okay, contract fulfilled. That's the recurring contract restarting. And oh, so we're apparently behind on something. Oh, we're missing out on our last. Oh, that 150 grand. Come on, man. That is terrible. Can't have that. Cannot have that. I missed out on that. So close to. So close, a matter of hours. I am trying to bite my tongue on my opinions of how tight the schedules are in this game and how tight the contracts are. I feel like it is needless for them to be that tight uh, and force you to worry that much about it. But, hey, I know there's a certain segment of people that just love to worry about that type thing. So, so be it. I just don't happen to be part of that segment of people. Um, I have real life issues to worry about. Worrying about game issues is not part of my priority list. 
All right, so we things are going good on, looks like everywhere we don't have anybody who is, all right, Amy Lee, Amy, you must be driving one of the, uh, one of the dry trailers, I'm guessing. All right, we'll accept this for now, but you may not be in business with us very much longer. All right, so everybody is going. Take a quick look. We're, well, we're way ahead on that one. And so Cheyenne, we finally got our first truck on that one. I would have thought we would have had it quicker than that, but no big deal. Okay, so these guys are, oh, never mind. They had already made some deliveries. I didn't notice that they would already done some deliveries there. All right, so schedule two, we got a contract that is fulfilled. I like it. And once again, money is doing doing well considering we made some purchases, we sold some things, and did a lot of moving around. All right, let's see what we've got. So we've got some guys who are now all piled up on this particular uh, contract. We're going to once again look at Memphis and just see. No, we don't have anything from there. Okay, kind of thought that was going to be the way it worked. So what that's going to do for me is now I'm going to start looking for other stuff. So let's see who is going where. All right, so we got some some folks going back to Charlotte. And so what I want to do is let's pull up the list and see where everybody is. Wait, where was this one? Okay, and you are coming into Charlotte, right? Yep. All right, so what I'm going to do is look and see what else we have in Charlotte. Okay, 15, 3,100 per. Again, not terrible, but not what I'm looking for, particularly from, from this. Now, this I like. A two-truck deal. Because, see, this one is a five-truck deal. And we got 13 trucks. So I'd be willing to get rid of probably about five or six trucks since I can't get a, any sort of a backhaul on this. So I like this one, 20 trips, 209. That is very nice per trip, 72, almost 7,300, and then 104,000. So I like this deal, plus it's a two truck deal, really like that. And let's see what else we got. That's also a nice deal set for the number of trucks. Okay, that's a pretty nice per trip, but a huge number of trucks as well. And wow, look at that one. Five trips. <laughs> Holy cow. That is huge. Five trips, 112,000. I mean, how am I supposed to pass this up? All right, and the answer to that is I can't. So we're going to go ahead and take this one. And let's finalize that. Okay, now we need to zoom in right here. And we need to take, all right, can we have you do that? I can't get a hold of these guys. All right, why are we not able to do this? Okay, two, three. Okay, apparently I already got you. Nope. Okay, I can't get you, so we'll we'll go and grab you. Nope, maybe. Three. Four. And is that all? That's coming right now? Because I'd like to do just five of these guys. And then just make this in one fell swoop. Let's do it that way. Okay, there we go. All right, let's make sure all of these guys get going. And it looks like it because they're headed the opposite direction that they've been going. Okay, not bad. We'll take it. All right, so we've got a salary requ increase request. Okay, no big deal there. We'll, we'll take that as I generally do. Okay, what do we got here on, on number three? Okay, so we did, we managed to get done with with that one schedule we were working on without too much 
heartache, so that's not bad. And we'll look for some more of these, but for now, we are out of time for this particular uh, video. We'll come back to this bio. I'm not giving up on that. We'll have to give it a certain amount of time before we're allowed uh, to send in another uh, another buyout offer. Uh, so we'll give that a little bit of time and then maybe next time we'll come back and, and see if that's available at least to make another offer. Uh, but so far I am happy with what we've got. We've gotten a lot more trucks on our most profitable trailer with that being the flatbed and I'm thinking seriously about moving forward by getting rid of probably all of these and pretty close to all of these as well as we move forward. We'll see how many of these we want to do at one time. Uh, probably would start with the dry trailers, but yeah, not a whole lot keeping me from doing that right now. But for now, we'll call it a video. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more of our Let's Play series, Transroad USA.